But let's start looking at designing a site using Dreamweaver. This is CS3, the version we've got in school. We are up to about CS5 in the commercial world, but CS3 will do the job just fine. The first time you load up, you may see um, something a bit different in the right-hand corner down here. Don't really worry about that. And then as you develop your site, um, your site and all its files should appear down here. Um, so what we're going to do today is concentrate on setting up a site and um, I'll go through how important that is. If you look in this middle menu here, you've got create new dream Weaver site. So we'll do that first of all. Now, you're going to have to name your site. Obviously, it'll be something uh, that's relevant to what you're doing a site on. I'll just call this uh, test123. And we don't have to put an address in there because it's not actually going to go on the internet. Again, because it's not going on the internet, we don't have to use server technology. And then this point here is where you specify exactly where you're going to store all the files. In other words, the site itself. Now, I'm going to use a pen drive that I put in here, a USB stick. Um, I'm on my laptop at home here. Obviously, if you're on the network at school, you'll be using your My Documents. It's really important you get this right, and it's really important that you don't start moving things outside of this folder. Because the folder, the site itself, in other words, is like a container for the whole of the images, the pages, the buttons, everything that's going to be on the site. So everything that's going to be on the site needs to be in that folder. Now I've selected that there. Okay, and then I go next again. And a -da 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 -da, whatever. I don't know what message that is. I'm not really concerned. Um, how do you want to connect to a remote server? Well, we're not going to because you're creating a website, but it's not actually going to go on the internet. And then next, and lastly, done. So, you might come up with a message again, just click OK. Um, we actually got a site here, and if you look in the right hand side there, it should show you that folder there. And at the moment, it's showing you what drive it's on, E for me, it'll probably be a different for you. It's got no files in. And indeed, it probably won't have any files in, unless you've already pre prepared some things and put them in that site folder. For instance, some of your assets, like your pictures and that kind of thing. Uh, might appear down here. Now every time you do something in that folder outside of Dreamweaver you can click refresh here and then it'll bring it back up again. So in other words this here tells you a lot about your own site and indeed when I come over um, or any other teacher comes over to have a look at your site and says oh what's going wrong here if something goes wrong or um, tries to have a look at what's going on this is the first area they're going to look at down here is uh, have you got the site folder right? Um, if not and there it is. So we've got a site set up there. Okay. 